VCA or video content analytics like line crossing and intrusion alert can help improve security solutions and assist in evaluations or investigations that are commonly seen in 24-7 vertical market applications. Today I'm going to show you how to set up VCA on an IP camera. We will go through the steps on setting up line crossing and intrusion detection by accessing your IP camera's IP address. First open up your web browser and type in the address of your IP camera. Enter your username and password. Next, it should direct you to live view mode. Make sure your Web Video Active X plugins are enabled and up to date, and if prompted, click allow. Click on the configuration tab on the upper right hand corner. On the left, find the advanced configuration tab and click on it. In the drop down menu below, select events. You will now see options for VCA at the top of your screen. A live view of the camera will appear below. Select the Line Crossing Detection tab on the right. Make sure the Enable Line Cross Detection box is checked off. Right below the video, next to Line, select one in the first drop-down menu. Choose the direction you want the Line Crossing Detection to trigger. A to B, B to A, or both direction with A and B. Next, click on the Draw Area button right above it. The two points will automatically appear in the video. You will need to position and scale it to where you want the two points. If you want to redo the line or clear the screen of the line, simply click the clear button on the right and it will clear the line you originally made. Click save at the bottom of your screen once you are finished. You have successfully set up a line crossing. For intrusion detection, it should be a tab right next to line crossing detection or on the second row at the top of your screen. Make sure the Enable Intrusion Detection box is checked off. Right below the video, next to Region, select one in the first drop-down menu. Next, click on the Draw Area button to create your outline of the box. You will need to select three or four points in order to create the box. Once you're done, click the Stop Drawing button below. If you made a mistake and want to start over, simply click the Clear button to clear the screen. Click Save at the bottom of your screen once you're finished. You have successfully set up an intrusion detection. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up VCA on a Platinum NVR. First, log into your NVR by the IP address. The default username and password is admin and 12345 Go to Configuration. On the left, go to Camera Settings. Select VCA in the drop-down menu. Select the channel you need to record by VCA. Check the box next to Enable. Make sure all boxes under Arming Schedule are green. Go to Linkage Method. Make sure the corresponding channel is checked under Trigger Channel. Under Normal Linkage, you could see some additional notification. For full screen monitoring, when something triggers, it goes from your split screen live view to a full screen mode of the camera. Audible warning is like it sounds. Your NVR will make a beep noise when a trigger has been made. You can also have it set up to alert a surveillance center such as NBMS 7000 mobile app when something is triggered. The email function will send you alert notifications. Every time someone triggers the line crossing or intrusion detection feature, it will send you an email alert. Please note you will need to set up the email settings separately. Trigger alarm output allows you to send an audible or visual signal out to trigger an external source. Once it's done, click on save. Then go to schedule settings. Select the channel you need to record by VCA. Under record, click on edit. You can choose all day for all day schedule or customize to create a custom recording time. After you finish with the recording time, go to record time. Under the drop-down menu, select VCA. On the bottom, you can check the box next to Select All to apply the settings to the whole week, or select one by one on the bottom. Once you're done, click on OK. If you completed the steps above, you will see the schedule boxes in pink. You might also use the Copy To button to copy the settings to other IP cameras after you save it. Then you can click on Save. Now you have finished setting up the NVR to record by using VCA.